Smells brilliant in here. All the store holders are setting up. There's a the smell of charcoal and a bit of fire going on. They're up against it, aren't they? They sure are. Uh, th <laughs> this ain't a fine dining restaurant. <laughs> but in saying that, people come to this market every Wednesday night yeah. to experience some great food, cheap and quick. Yeah, it's street food. And the challenge is simple. Make as much money as they can. And let's not forget, 40,000 people are going to be here very shortly. Yeah, it's it, going to be crazy. And these guys over here, their record is 800 burgers. He said four transactions a minute at its busiest. They can barely keep up. Bang, everything sold in four hours. Love it. Can't wait. Gary, I'm super scared for them. <laughs> that's all I've got to say. Everybody loves burgers and chips, and that's what our focus is. Byron gets started on peeling those potatoes, and we've got some chips. Georgia gets started on preparing the pumpkin. Uh, I've started chopping onions and garlic in the food processor, and Laura's getting that sauce prepared. Have we got a nominated captain in here, or are we all just kicking in? We're, We're all just kicking in. Right. Uh, what are you doing? Are we Are doing burgers, yeah. three ways? So we've yeah. got a lamb and tzatziki burger, a classic beef with bacon and cheese, and we're doing a veggie burger. Right. Are we doing seasoned chips? Can I give you just, I'm going to give you the same yeah, advice yeah. across the board. Yeah. I love the idea that you guys are giving options, but why not just do one amazing thing? But at the end of the day, it's your choice. OK. So this is a defining moment. There's a decision that needs to be made, and somebody's got to make it. Guys, we're taking the judge's advice. We're going to focus on the beef burgers and chips at the moment. OK, and when's veg? Um, we're scrapping the veg for now. OK. And that's when I also made the decision that I was going to be captain. I think we scrap the veggie burger. Scrap the veggie burger. This will be quick, though. Just do one well. We've just wasted all our money on groceries. I know that that's all money sitting there. That's making me feel really doubtful. Is anybody a captain or you're all taking it? Today. You're taking I'm it. Taking it. I yeah. love it. Judges come over and typical judges, they don't like the idea of having three different feelings. We've got two options. Right. One for five or three for twelve. So you've got to ask yourself, if you do three empanadas per portion, if you do a hundred portions, I wonder how long it's going to take you to make one empanada. Oh, it's a lot of hard work. That's a lot of empanadas. When you do like one big empanada... One, twelve bucks. Boom. Go for it. Hedge your bets. I think we've underestimated how tough this is going to be, so I'm going to trust their judgement. They've advised, they've really advised, that we combine yeah. the spicy veg and the chicken chorizo to make yeah. one big one. The dough on hold together in the deep fryer is a big one. I'm going to have to go back through all the dough, add more flour to make it more stable, essentially starting the process all over again. It's a huge job. I'm going to need to remake at least six kilos of the stuff. Remaking this dough is really going to slow us down. Our dish is bao, which is Korean steam buns. I think our food today is going to be really tasty. We think we can sell everything that we'll make today. That's our plan. Haven't wasted any money buying stuff we don't need. Can I ask a question? How much money did you spend? $350. So you've got $350 left? Yep. Why? Um, well, I we worked out our quantities to do 500. We've yeah. bought enough for our 500. Right. So we didn't want to waste money. Okay. It's on profit. We're already $350 in front of two of the teams. Our strategy of trying to minimise our costs could be a real winner today. You just got one item, and that item is a what? No, we've got three different oh, you got steam three. buns. Oh, right, three steam buns. OK. What, why would you do three? We wanted variation, we wanted a vegetarian option. Yeah. And we've done chicken and pork. If it was me, I would only make one thing. If it was you... I'll only do one thing. Yeah. Because I know that I've got an hour and five minutes to make the pastry, form it up, and then fiddle around with three fillings. Have you added in the time it's going to take for them to stand there and go, I'll have... If they don't make their mind up in the cube, we'll move them on. No, but you can't. That's not a service. You know. You know what? We are not changing their never. mind. Yeah. I know this team. I know it's Amelia. Too late. She's just gonna... No, it's never too never. late. It's easy enough to take their advice, but I think it's a little bit more exciting to leave their advice aside and prove them wrong. Go for it. And you know, if you prove us wrong, we love it. We love proving you wrong. We're doing a bit of a Mexicali sort of mix, so we're trying. Crispy chicken, soft tortilla, yep. slaw. Absolutely. Winner. So, wait, wait, wait. Yellow team's doing one dish. Absolutely. We've got, we've got, yeah! We have.
the one dish, babe. I like it. I think it's like, sensitive. Get it out. You've got to get it out. Love the fact that you're making a lot of things fresh, but you yeah. bought the tortillas. Clever. Yeah, the only thing is, though, you bought a, you know, a standard tortilla. How do you make that look really beautiful well, and appetising? Have gonna... you thought about how you're presenting it? Yep. So it's going to we're going to wrap it up like a like a proper almost burrito style. Yeah. I'm just going to crisp it off slightly, so we're going to have plenty ready to go. So it's just straight serve. I think my money's on the yellow at the moment. Yeah. Gary comes and says that he's got his money on the yellow team, and I'm thinking, whoa. Oh, I didn't realise that. Um, what are the yellow team doing? That's us. Oh. <laughs> right, teams, you have one hour to go. Six o'clock is service time. Go green team! Go green. There's only one hour to go till service. Let's make sure we've got food ready when we open. I think we need to get, grab a tester out, roll, roll one We've up. We've changed it to one big empanada, and this dough might not even hold together at this size. If this doesn't work, we have to come up with a whole new strategy. No point testing it without filling. The dough's the hardest thing to make. The filling has to be cool before it can even go in the empanadas, and the garlic aioli hasn't been made yet, so I get the blender, put it on the counter, and get that ready to go. Do you want me to...? I don't think we can help anymore at the moment. With you. Can you um, the aioli? Yeah, you can do the aioli. Yeah. Right. Radio Captain. I'm on it, but where's the stick blender? I've got the blender, I'm ready to start it. What do you need to do? I can do two things at the same time, get onto something else. She's supposed to be making the dough. Is she going against the captain? Have you been listening to anything the boys have been saying? Rachel is getting upset. She's trying to crack on with it, she's trying to get the work done, but she's getting fed up with Tash because she thinks that she's trying to take over. She just storms off. I'm not really sure what that's about. I'm very annoyed because there's more than one person in this freaking team. What can I get to do, guys? We need the aioli, we need the... She's the, the, doing the aioli. I can do two things at the same time. We're only an hour into this challenge and... We erupt. Here you go, here you go, take one. it. I need... Right, all right, like, listen for a sec. Right, you do the aioli. Thank you. We can seriously fall apart right now. We are super nervous for you, why? 30 minutes, 40,000 people. Time, boom, boom, shake the room. Come on, guys, let's go. There are so many people here. There's smoke filling the air. You can smell barbecue. You can see all these other amazing stalls. It's madness. The background noise of people is just deafening. There's so much motion. It's just incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Our burgers are $12. Bowl of chips, six dollars, because chips are quite important. I think that we'd have quite a high profit margin on those. Need the potatoes peeled, boiled, and then cooled for the chips. We got five bags of them. Prep time's running out. I don't know if we're going to have chips ready for the beginning of the service, which is a bit of a worry. I think that putting the chicken and pork together might have merit. Amelia starts to get a bit concerned that we've bitten off more than we can chew. We don't need to appeal to that many vegetarians. The sheer logistics of what we're trying to do aren't adding up. We're going to take a little of the judge's advice as much as I don't want to. So it's going to be a pork and mushroom bowl and a chicken bowl. We decide to give people two serves for their $12, slightly bigger and a lot less work for us. The girls have finally moved on from their little argument. Tash is making a tester empanada. We're finally working together as a team and hopefully we can win this challenge. Everyone's got different ideas, everyone's got different opinions and there's just a bit of conflict. We've resolved it and we've got a clear direction and that's, that's all that matters. Uh, there's another one here, just use this. We're charging $12 for the tortilla and by service we want to have at least 50 to 100 wraps ready to sell. I am throwing everything into it. If we lose, it's not for a lack of trying. <laughs> I think we're going to be able to bang out a lot of dishes and cope with the demand, which I think is where we'll do well and make our money.